Good evening, tasters. Nivla here again with another nightcap note. This evening's note is about a whisky from the Glen Scotia Distillery. Now this is called the Glen Scotia Double Cask. It's from Campbelltown, which is a, a small area in Scotland that once was huge in whisky production. From my understanding, it, it died off during the US prohibition. But prior to that, Campbelltown area provided most of the Scotch whisky that went to America. There's a lovely design on the bottle. I don't know whether you can see too clearly. Down here, there's a harbour scene. And this is described as a classic Campbelltown malt. The two casks are obviously American oak in the first instance, and then Pedro Zimenez. Now, if you, if you know Pedro Zimenez sherry, it is quite sweet, really appealingly sweet. So it'd be interesting to see whether any of that shines through here. So looking at the colour, it's a golden amber colour. And seeing as this is a no age statement, maybe it might suggest a bit of colouring, but I'm not gonna to go too deeply into that. It has a promising nose. There's um, like green apple peel and uh, obviously some vanilla. Quite a bit of oakiness and some tea, almost, almost like jasmine tea, if you know that variety of tea. Can't get much of the sherry coming through. Well, that's, that's quite spiritous. I know it's at 46%, but even so, um, there's quite a bit of, how should I, it's almost burn on the top of the palate and the tongue. And, and the flavour's mainly in the middle to back palate. There's a hint of vanilla, a hint of dried fruits, but it all seems to be a bit dulled down. This is um, maybe disappointing. The finish is fairly short. I still haven't detected any of those lovely Pedro Zemina's sherry characters. There's a lot of oak. And maybe the finish of it is a bit like some cough lollies that, you know, if you've got a sore throat or a ticklish throat, you might suck a cough lolly. Well, I've tasted better cough lollies on my shelf up here than this one. There are much better whiskies around. And this one will probably end up upstairs in my rusty nail cupboard. Disappointing, because currently it costs $95 to purchase this bottle. And I certainly, well, again, I didn't pay for that, that much for it in the past, and I certainly wouldn't be forking out $95 to buy it again. It's okay, but disappointing. Can't win them all, though. Just like my football team that didn't make the finals. Can't win them all. <laughs>